what's up, Gemini gang? What's happening? Let's see what's going on today on this lovely Sunday. All Gemini placements take what resonates a leave of the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe. Y'all know what it is. All right, so prosperity lies ahead for some of you with the new moon in Taurus. We also see expect powerful change. I believe I got this one for you guys before. But what came out on the top, we have, it's time to take action. Mm-hmm. New moon in Aries, Gemini's. All right, so somebody's about that action. You about that action. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the book says. I don't have my glasses down here, but you know what? We're going to make it do what it do either way. All right. So, new moon in Aries. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a subler, superbly, is that what that word is? Positive sign. If there is something you want to happen in your life. So, if something, if there's something you want to happen... Gemini's is about to happen. All right. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is a time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So think of Aries. And of course, Aries is also the fool in the tarot. But the fool can also be Aquarius too. But Aries is the fool. Okay. Um, and the fool is zero, which is the very first card uh in the major arcana all right um but you're on your way determination self-assertion and bravery are called for but this hot fire of aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about the caution don't go too fast and forget your manners treat people well as you charge forward towards your goals you'll create much better karma for yourself Ooh! baby i'm gonna be live today because i'm gonna talk about that how we're seeing a lot of the karma play out this year mm -hmm. yeah um let's see the attune to the moon is don't even think about giving up don't you even think about it uh gemini's all right additional meanings for this card do your best and be happy with that mm -hmm. avoid being brash right now you need a 12-month plan a new male is coming into your life. Well, or someone, if, if it's not a male, for some of you it is a male, could be like a business partner or something. If it's not a male, it could be a female that has like masculine energy or an Aries. Okay. Well then, okay. So the teaching of this card is Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 or 13 new moons of the year. If you're committed to working with the lunations, with the new moon in Aries, uh, is the right time to start. And drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's also the ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting intentions. Okay? So set those intentions, babes, so you can get what you want. Okay? Let's see what is going on. Let's pull a few cards. So Spirit is wanting you to get started on something, get a move on it. Um, with something, something you've been sitting on, it's time to go. Set those intentions. Mm-hmm. Five of Pentacles. So you may feel like you have lost something or someone, the hermit. Yeah, because I and I saw that two of cups poking out, peeking out of there too. Uh, but with the hermit, some of you are by yourselves. You feel like you you've lost out on someone or something, but you got something else coming in. Okay, so don't even trip on that. Okay, don't even trip on that, Gemini. Nice. Okay, let's see. The five of pentacles could be about a job loss too. Mm-hmm. Wow, the ten of swords. Mm-hmm. Let me cover up the lovers. The lovers. Love it. Love it. Love it. Gemini's. So, yeah, you are going to be coming together if that's what you want. If you want a union or if you want a partnership, I'm seeing that happening for you. Okay. Could have been after an ending of some sort. Okay. This person could be a Gemini, such as yourself. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. 
Mm-hmm. Time to put in that work. You may have been kind of dragging your feet regarding something or a situation. Gemini's. Someone in your energy could have been dragging their feet. But yeah, it's time to put in that work. And also stop overthinking. There's I'm seeing like some overthinking here. So I'm not sure if it's you or uh someone else. Page of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups. Mm-hmm. The Seven of Wands here on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Now, this could be two things. I feel like the first thing is you kind of learning how to put boundaries up in your life, whether it be your job, whether it be, um, you know, your love life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or this could be like someone standing their ground when it comes to you, when it comes to their place in your life, when it comes to, um, you know, you keeping them around or whatever the case may be. Some of you may be getting asked out on a date. Gemini's, uh, that's usually the vibe I get with this, or this is some type of new connection. You may deal with someone too. That's a little shy. Someone's a little bit shy. So, you know, you might have to kind of bring someone out of their shell a little bit, you know? Um, but take that how it resonates. Or this is you, Gemini. That's a little shy. Someone is in their head a lot, all the time. Like, always overthinking and stuff. Um, Gemini's. Head, probably you, okay? Because y'all be, y'all the overthinkers in the tarot deck. <laughs> Child. Eight of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yes. You did end something with someone. You have something new coming, though. Gemini, the death card. Mm-hmm. Another page. Page of pen, uh, page of cups and the nine of pentacles here on the bottom. So you do have a new connection. And it, take it out, Rizzo, because it could be in, in an old connection coming in new, fresh. Especially with this Aries energy here. It's like some of you just dealing with an Aries or you're meeting Aries. But it's like it's something new and fresh about this. Um Gemini's some of you went through some type of like huge transformation it could have been in your last situation that has changed you shaped you and molded you um to be a better person and a better partner for your next connection so you know a lot of times the hardships that we go through are uh molding us and, and shaping us into who we are right um although you're not your troubles you're not your you're not your past you know you can change your identity at any time but, you know, would you have learned any of the lessons if you didn't go through what you went through? That's something to consider, Gemini's. But I'm seeing something new here. Someone wanting a fresh start or you just wanting a fresh start, uh, Gemini's. If this is like work, I feel like you're starting like, whoa, you're starting like a whole new career. The King of Pentacles. Some of you dealing with a Taurus. I'm seeing the moon here. Um, Spirit just messing up my uh, spread. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Star. Yeah. Oh, the Star and the Moon here. So, yeah. Someone does. Yeah. The Judgment here on the bottom. I do feel like you may have someone here that is kind of wanting to get out of the doghouse with you, too. So, take that how it resonates. If it's not, this could just represent your past. This could represent... Um, you know what you've gone through in your past and now you are ready for more you're ready to move forward you're ready to see what else is out there whether it be starting your business or I'm seeing you going on some type of adventure or some type of journey Gemini's that is going to work out for you for some of you the journey so far or the last couple of years have been really tough for a lot of you so it's it's going from you taking L after L after L to you getting win after win after win. It's like you're in your winning season and I just fucking love to see it. <laughs> I love to see it, Gemini's. Everything you went through, Gemini's, I feel like was a, a, a part of like character development for you. Um... That's, that's if you're doing the work. Like you, you have to be able to do the work. And sometimes that involves getting rid of people in the process, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here on the bottom, which is uh, Aries again. So it's like 
you have to get to a space where um, you're able to kind of detach from outcomes, if that makes sense, especially with love connections. You know, uh, learn how to, number one, know your value when you're when you're getting into a, a connection, but also try not to get too uh, overly attached to them, number one, because, you know, some of you guys get attached to somebody in a month, like in a month, they ghost or whatever, and it's 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 killing you inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you have to get get very solid. You have to get so solid. Thank you, spirit. King of Pentacles, which is the solid of the solid of the solid. Um, you know, just this is the only thing that's more solid than this, or the only masculine energy that's more solid than this is the emperor. So you really need to get more grounded and more solid within yourself to where you're not just clinging on to whoever comes into your life, right? <laughs> and you start losing yourself you start losing your identity um in this connection you start overthinking stuff that it hasn't even really had time to develop you don't even really know that person um you know what i mean six of wands love it you coming out of a victory <laughs> knight of wands sag energy mm -hmm. yep see there's that five of pentacles again yeah i feel like oh i love it Eight of Cups, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, you're coming out of a dark place, uh, Gemini's. Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, you may have some people kind of latching onto you, though. But this can also be you not knowing what's next. Or you uh, you could be a little bit hesitant to move forward because you don't know what's next, um, Gemini's. But I feel like move forward no matter what. And, and get rid of any scarcity mindsets, okay? Just because something is is going bad right now, or what you deem is bad, it doesn't mean it'll be like that forever. You know what I mean? You can't just um, try to stay in your head when, when things aren't working out. So say you're trying to find love, right? And everyone that you date seems to be in and out or non-committal and whatever, whatever. Of course, number one, you need to you need to do some work on yourself. That's number one. But number two, try not to let that be your entire experience, okay? And also switch the narrative. It, it can sound, I'm trying to think of a way to put it because sometimes delusion is a good way to manifest, but don't be delusional to your detriment, right? So instead of saying, oh my God, I'm always attracting, because I see this, you guys do this all the time, and this is, you're, you're creating your your um your life in the 3d every time you say all i attract is non-committal people all i attract is narcissists like you're pretty much creating that okay so switch the narrative and be like um even if you want to talk about a specific person right not a, not this person okay if you want to uh narrow it down to like you already have your lover right so say you're single Start talking to yourself like, um, it's, it's going to feel weird at first, but start talking to yourself and say stuff like, oh my God, I can't believe my partner uh, proposed to me, right? You can even go get you a ring. Go get you a look on Amazon or go to the uh, beauty supply store. Get you a little cheapy ring, but make sure it looks nice, okay? Get you a little ring, put it on your finger, okay? You can just, and you can just wear it at the house. If you're a guy, just go get something that looks like a, a wedding band. Of course, you can just wear it at the house because, you know, you don't want people to think you're married when you leave the house. Or if they do, that's going to be a dope way to manifest, okay? But put the ring on and be like, oh my God, I cannot believe I got engaged, you know? Like really, really play it out. And when you're manifesting, visualize that. Visualize getting loved on and prioritized. Visualize getting cared for. You know what I mean? And and chosen and things like that. And change how you speak to yourself. Um, Gemini's. Try to stay away from words like always. Especially if it's something that you don't want to manifest. Now you can use always when it comes to, you know, I always get what I want. Things always work out for me. But don't be like, oh my God, I always attract cheat people oh my god i always attract people that are broken and, and need healing and stuff like that so try to stay away from stuff like that um gemini's
for some of you, I'm seeing you are, um, you have been doing the work or you just started. Yep, there's that Ten of Swords again. <laughs> some of you, you you've reached the, the end um because the 10 uh the tens are like i said the end of the suit so after this it starts back over to um the sword right uh the the ace of sword so um and tens are be are the end in the beginning so i feel like gemini you're coming from a dark place and you're starting a new cycle yes uh, thank you spirit see that and of course there's that infinity symbol over her head and the strength card and also the two of cups i told you gemini's you've completed some type of cycle and you're about to start seeing the rewards for it you're coming out of whatever Ooh, let's see we just talked about the aces i just split the deck and saw this i told you i told you now take it how it resonates if this is a past energy or um a new energy but it's like Whatever you've been waiting for, the Ten of fucking Pentacles? Are you serious, Gemini's? Wow. Mm-hmm. The High Priestess. Yeah, love it. Love to see it. Someone's still lingering in your energy, child. So if, if you're ready to move on and if, if it's not this person, you probably need to do like some type of energy work. Uh, to get them out because someone is like holding on to you for dear life. I need to check my schedule to see if um, I can go live today. Where am I? Um, hold on, y'all, because I don't even have all my cards in here. Okay, so uh, Gemini's, I feel like based on how you're talking to yourself, how you're treating yourself, I feel like you are about to manifest something that you've been wanting. Um, could be some type of family dynamic too. So for some of you, it's finances and money. Um, you know, your money situation getting way better because you stay too coarse. Uh, it's it's like and everyone that has a business goes through that. I I go through that in my own business and doing uh, YouTube and content because some months, you know, I mean, there's never any months where it's necessarily bad because bad to me is not going to be bad to you. <laughs> but like there's some months that get more views than others. Right. But I don't panic. I just I just keep going. But it's, it happens though when you when you have a business or when you're when you're when you work for yourself or you do something outside of the regular nine to five or even if you do have a job and you lose your job. But you know, you know, if you have any type of business, sometimes there's a downtime, there's a slow season, but you still got to keep chugging along during those times. OK, if your love life has been shitty the last couple of years, you still got to keep working on yourself. You still got to keep believing that it's going to come. You still got to you got to keep um, saying those positive things to yourself. You still got to keep meditating. You still got to keep journaling. You still have to keep doing the work, you guys, even if you're not seeing it in a 3D yet. All right. So I feel like you you're leaving some you're leaving this 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 trauma this struggle and all this stuff behind Gemini's you leaving this behind and you're going to something magnificent I love it I love it some of you guys are still needing to do the work though like you're still needing to get out of your head you might be having a rough time right now and you're focused heavily on the rough time get stop worrying about the rough time act like it doesn't even exist you guys <laughs> like legit 1919 when I looked over thank you spirit because that reduces to 1010 wow so i feel like gemini's um even when try try not to focus a lot on your 3d reality and focus on your the the life that you want to create for yourself so that happens during your meditations if you're looking for a partnership use that use that ring uh thing because i've given that to clients and it's it's worked like they they were able to like manifest 
like dope connections but say positive things about your future future partner as if they exist wow my wife treats me amazing like whatever you love so for the fellas that are into women man my wife throw down in the kitchen <laughs> you know whatever um whatever it is you're trying to manifest act like you already have it uh gemini's um if you want partnership make sure your bed is clean i said this before and it was like somebody in the comments that was like uh well my house is always clean like i don't girl you tell them on yourself because that's not even what i said you know and i'm guilty of this i sometimes i'll bring my work to the bed and then the side of the bed i'm not sleeping on is my laptop my journaling notebooks and all kind of other extra shit so if you're single you've been single for a long time clean that side of the bed up gemini's set your room up if if you desire to live with someone okay you, you may not want to live with somebody but you know clear your house and, and get your space prepared for a partner okay but also have it to where um you're doing the inner work as well, uh, Gemini's. Because the strength is about inner strength. I'm just going to get a couple of these because, y'all, I literally can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make it up, you guys. Uh, and then we have several other ones. But I'm just going to take two. And we have uh, the baby here on the bottom. So some of you may end up having children. I'm seeing a family dynamic here, but this is new beginnings. This is cardinal. Again, we're, we're heavy in that Aries energy. We're seeing this Aries energy again because Aries is here on this card. So the zodiac sign on this card is Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, the cardinal signs. And this is baby, which is cardinal, new beginnings. Gra uh, rapid growth, fresh start, unlimited potential, innocent, continuing the legacy, needy, warmth, purity, new phase, birth of a child, and vulnerable. Okay? So you literally have another chance or a fresh start here um, after you've learned some type of lesson, uh, Gemini's, and gone through some type of transformation. All right? So we have... <laughs> This is funny. This is cat, which is Scorpio. Mm -hmm. This one is apathetic, disinterested, aloof, my way or the highway, bored, unflappable, cool cat, unaffected, not my problem, what I want when I want it, honey. That's definitely the era I'm in. Cool and calm and disengaged. This, I feel like, is definitely the energy of manifestation. Set it and forget it, for sure. Try not to overthink. Try not to worry about it. Why isn't my manifestation coming? As soon as you say that, it starts back to zero. Your progress starts back to zero. Okay? Set it and forget it is, is my model for manifestation. There's no reason for you to be sitting and thinking about it constantly. Why don't I have? I want. Try to stay away from things like I want and I need. Because then you are coming from a place of you don't have it. I have, I am, oh my God, this is going on. This is what's happening right now. Change it to that type of dynamic, okay? Then we have flamingos, <laughs> which is Pisces, which is soulmates, lovers, mm -hmm. union, courtship, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential, displays of affection, charm, it factor, two of a kind, alluring, and je ne sais quoi. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.